Hey there gang, Jack Lair here, testing out my uh, new location for videoing. Uh, decided to do some pickups because I picked up some rather strange things over the past little bit and wanted to share them with you. First of all, starting out, my uh, brother-in-law and his family, I uh, know that I'm collecting a bunch of the old games and did some really great ones. They got me uh, two of the greatest hits for PlayStation. Uh, Midway Presents Arcade Greatest Hits, the Atari Collection, number one. I've done a video on that. It'll be coming up soon. I'm also in a new system, so if the sound or anything weirds you out, just let me know. The second one is uh, Midway Presents Arcade Greatest Hits, Atari Collection number two. Now, I haven't taken a look at this one, but if the first one is any indication, it's going to be really awesome. That's really all I ended up with gaming related uh, for Christmas. Let's move along and get to some of the things that I found. This is really cool and I showed it to one of my friends and he thought it was hysterical. This is heat. That's right, heat. Now, what this is, is this is a box that you install it and then it allows you to play your games with other people that have computers. I know, I know, I was that excited too. Now the minimum requirements for it are, and I'll read these because these are uh, great, uh, Windows 95 BC, Pentium 90 plus, you have to have 16 megabytes of RAM, and you have to have a 28.8 modem, 28.8. If you're wondering what any of those are, ask your parents. Now, of course, I had to get two, because they had two, and you have to have two in order to play with other people. I'll be trying to see if these still work later on. Picked up Doom 2, big box, on floppy drive. That's right. Floppy disk in the box. 95 cents for this. Also picks up Maximum Death for Doom 2. 95 cents each. Can't go wrong there. I was very happy with that. Possibly the coolest thing that I've found this month is afterward. I had a little bit of uh, Christmas money. And I picked up this, this little bad boy for a little over four bucks. This is the Sega CD. Now, I tested it out, works fine with CDs. I don't have any Sega CD games. I don't have any, yeah, that's right. So, but hooked it up, it all works as far as I can tell, kudos there. I also picked up this, which is a laser line CD holder. Holds 36 CDs or, oh, ta-da, PS1 games. So I've started kind of throwing those in there. I really like it kind of all just slides in there, closes up nicely. Mm, and that's probably my favorite container right now. A yard sale and found these little guys for 99 cents. Not just the containers. But I found out the coolest thing is that when you open these up, it's got the Genesis games fit almost, almost perfectly in here. I don't know what they were originally meant to hold, but they do a beautiful job of holding Genesis cartridges. Speaking of which, I actually stopped by a uh, local pawn shop and their, their games had disappeared. So I'm in there going like, what's the deal? Where did they all go? The guy in there is like, ah, oh, I just got them in a box in the back now. Any of them you want, a dollar each. Well, yeah. So I picked up the six pack. Had been missing this. Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, Columns, and uh, Super Hang On. Fair enough. Loving it. Road Rash 3. Gotta love it. Classic. Unfortunately, these don't fit. So if anybody has an idea of what, to, what container to use for these, because I, like, I've got a craft box 
that the the Game Gear games fit perfectly in. By the way, don't know how much noise that rolling chair made. I'll be a little slower this time, I promise. Ah, can't get it over there. Anyways, so, but anyways, Road Rush 3, awesome game. Mortal Kombat, somehow I didn't own it, now I do. Rock on. This one I have never heard of, so I'll probably be doing a, a video of this, just because if I haven't seen it, I assume some other people haven't. It's called Red Zone. No clue, but got it now. Mutant League Football. If you don't own this game, go buy it. If you don't own the Genesis, and you're like, I don't own Genesis, I don't, I don't know, go buy a Genesis, then buy this game. Go buy this, go buy this, even if you don't have a Genesis, just buy this game and stare at it, because it is that friggin' cool of a game. Uh, last one, uh, Battletech. Of course, in the Mech Warrior. Oh, Fassa. I miss you. Anyways, doo -doo -doo. moving right along. So that's that. I just I love the containers. And they've got this little groove in the bottom and the little slot on top so they stack. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, the other things that I picked up from that location was Eternal Champions in the case. I uh, don't remember. No, no manual. But cool to have a case. Put that over on the shelf. Oh, oh, there. Look, you're watching me organize in action. This game, I didn't know anything about. I talked to my friend Tanner, and he said it's like Pokemon with attitude. I was like, okay. Uh, Jade Cocoon. And it comes in the big box, but it only comes with one disc. Uh, whatever. But I look forward to playing it. Let's enjoy that. Uh, just for fun, 250, True Crime, New York City, Nintendo GameCube, another one to add to the GameCube collection. And I beat it before, but it was two bucks, so Enter the Matrix, this one for the PS2. And that's about all I got, with one exception. Um, I actually picked this game up, and I didn't know what it was, but I looked at it and I was like, I know this game. I know this game. I know this game. What the hell is it? And then I got it home, and I popped it in the DS, and I was like, okay. I, I, well, it's, it's all in Japanese. I don't know what the hell it's saying. And then I get to the games, the game part of the game, and I'm like, oh, I'm such a dumbass. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the new setup, let me know. If you want me to go back to uh, the, the red curtains, I'm pretty sure I can steal them from in the house. Although if you don't see me after our, the curtains reappear, look for my wife to have a new flower bed. Anyways, as always, I'm Jack Lair. Play on!